Hello everyone, Precision Egg Specialist Russell Tilton with American Implement, celebrating 50 years of serving our customers, friends, family. Today we're going to do a walk around look at many of the benefits and features of the new Gen 4 4640 display from John Deere. Let's get started. So let's get started taking a look into the new Gen 4 4640 display. You will notice that uh, while some of the features do have a certain amount of familiarity to them, if you've had 2630 displays or 2600, there is a certain amount of difference to them also. Uh, if you've ever used a smartphone or a tablet, you'll notice that many of the features work like uh, your smartphone does. They are app-based, so if you want to select something, you will notice that they have several different applications for each one of those features that you want to use. So to, I guess to start off with, uh, well, the main menu button is again down here at the bottom right hand corner just like it always was on the 2630 display and allows you to get into the different features of the display. From here you can get into machine settings. Now if this, if this display were actually in a uh, tractor or combine there would be other icons on here also for the many different features of that tractor or combine or whatever it happens to be in. Applications, there are several different features here also that we can get into. Again these are all look like apps which they are so once you get in the hang, in the hang of using an app just it's just like on your smartphone or tablet and uh, they're very uh, easy to get into. And again with your system, this is where we can go to find more in-depth features on the display. Another nice feature of the Gen 4 4640 display is the ability to customize our run pages to see the information that we really want to see. Now we were able to do that before with the 2630 display, but now we have even more options through Layout Manager in the Gen 4s. So to get started, we simply select the Menu button, then Applications, and then again our Layout Manager. Now I want to create a run page that has the widescreen for mapping on it. So I'm going to go ahead and select all run pages, add new. Now to create this new page we must name it, so I'm going to call it simply page 4. Okay. Now notice on this page here we have several different small boxes here and those are actually areas that we can customize to set to see the information that we want through different modules. So I'm going to add a module and actually I just want this entire run page to show mapping. So I'm going to select applications and we'll go to the mapping and hit there it is the extra wide and tall. So I'll go down and I'll select Add and Save. Now notice it has been created as page 4 down here at the bottom. I have created the page but it has not been set yet to the active set. So I need to go to the active set and then active run pages and add run page. Okay, now I'm going to select the unused page 4 that we just created and select OK. So now it has been, well after I hit save, now it has been saved to our active run set and it is available on our as one of our main pages. And now I can scroll through and find that page. There it is available for us. You'll notice on the side of the 4640 display that there are USB ports available for importing and exporting field information such as coverage maps, guidance lines, and prescription information. You can also use those USB ports for updating your software. Simply by choosing a USB stick and plugging it in the side with our information already on there, we will get a information box come up that asks us whether we want to import or export data or install software. You can also check for software updates online. You, if you choose to use this option, your software updates will take longer to do, but it is available to you using a Wi-Fi device or through JD Link. Uh, normally that will take you about an hour longer to do your software update. To do a normal software update using a USB drive takes about 30 minutes. 
So we simply want to view updates for the display and then click next and it will check for any software updates you have and then once it finds those you'll be able to go ahead and click the install button. This display has the latest software on it so there are none available. Also featured on the back of your 4640 display monitor you'll notice we have a place to plug in video so you can plug up to four different cameras into this display and with the 19.3 software update, update, you now have the ability to customize those uh, cameras. You can name them whatever you'd like to. Instead of video one, video two, so on and so forth, you can now name them uh, Augur, Bin, or whatever you would wish to uh, name each one of those cameras. Also with the 19.3 software update, you now have the ability to cycle through each one of those cameras individually so that they can uh, be set to a certain time limit to see, to see each one of those uh, cameras and then cycle to the next one. You can also program those cameras to be set with triggers so if you are backing up it would trigger a camera to come on or if you engage an SCV so on and so forth there are different triggers you can program for those cameras to come on. Okay, over on the other side of the back of the display <clears throat> We have an Ethernet port so that you can plug in your JD Link uh, for JD Link telematics enabled machines so that you can do remote display access and wireless data transfer. Also on the back we have a place to plug in a monitor for the Gen 4 Extend monitor. The Gen 4 Extend monitor is a very handy feature that's available for customers who absolutely have to have more information available at their fingertips. I find that the Gen 4 Extend Monitor is extremely helpful uh, in seeding applications so that you are able to put your planter perhaps on one monitor and then put the rest of your applications, your uh, auto track and uh, tractor functions on the other display and you can switch them back and forth just real quickly. So as you can see here I have set up a uh, original Green Star monitor over on the Extend the extend monitor. Uh, that is a new feature that is available with a 19.2 software. So if you have an older planter that requires the uh, original Green Star uh, monitor or an air seeder, you are now capable of seeing uh, the Gen 4 monitor along with the original Green Star monitor. Okay, and it's very easy to move this information back and forth simply by pushing the button up here at the top. We can swap monitors or we can cycle through and find another run page that we'd like to have over on the uh, on the extend monitor. So it's very ha handy to have these uh, different pages set up so that you can swap back and forth and have that information available to you at your uh, at your fingertips. Another nice feature that has been incorporated into the 4640 display you'll find on the back they now have included an on off button so that you can turn the display on and off simply by pressing a button without the need to turn your key switch on your machine on and off. If you want to power down the display we simply click OK and we get our timeline and the display goes, goes to rest. If we want to start it back up again we simply press our on off button and it brings our display back online. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at the new Gen 4 4640 display. Now to many of you the uh, 4640 display does look somewhat familiar although there are many different features and the layout does seem a little bit different. Uh, it does have the same 10.4 inch screen on it that the Gen 3 and Gen 2's had but uh, there are some new features to it. We'll start out with the main menu button which again is down in the bottom right hand corner just like it was on previous displays. <clears throat> and this main menu button does allow us to get around to the different features of this display. On the machine settings page, if uh, this display were in a uh, piece of equipment, there would be other icons on here also for the many different features of that machine. 
The Applications tab allows us to look into several other features such as Auto Track, uh, Machine Manager, Air Equipment Manager, Field Boundaries, uh, several different other applications that we need that we may need to get into. Also, our Starfire button. This is where we could go to vi to view our Starfire receiver if we needed to see. Uh, what's going on with our Starfire receiver and again this page looks very familiar to you okay so and then, then we can also go to our system and here's where we go to some more in-depth information about this display we can get into the display uh, and sound if we need to change brightness and that sort of thing or the uh, if we need to turn the sound up or down. We also have the stand, standby mode just like we did on the 2630. If we need to go into standby mode and dim the display just briefly, we can also bring it back up just by touching the screen just like we used to with the 2630 display. Okay. Uh, we can still get into the diagnostic center. We can set our date and time if we need to change that. Okay, file manager. This is another interesting place to go to in that we can manage our files, our data, and, and stuff coming in and out of the display. We can make sure that it is uh, set up with the operations center. Yeah, I actually do diagnostics to make sure we are connected to the operations center through our MTG on our equipment. We can also ch uh, check to make sure that our information is transmitting. Of course there's nothing on here at this time, but we can make sure that our information is getting synced with our operations center. We can also do our import and export from right here if we need to send our, our uh, files to the operations center or export them. Okay. One other feature I'd like to show real quick is the help menu down here in the bottom right hand corner. With the help menu, you can uh, actually set up anything you need to on this display. Uh, there's no more need for a, an owner's manual to be hiding underneath the seat or back behind the seat, trying to chase around and find that when you're trying to get something set up. Now you have all that information right here at your fingertip. If you need to say, if you need to set up your uh, guidance lines, for example, just touch the help feature, and it will help you set up your auto track. So now we can set up our guidance lines, guidance, auto track. Okay, getting started with Auto Track. And it gets very in depth and will help you through how to set up your Auto Track or any other setting that you need to uh, be getting into, such as documentation or perhaps you need to be getting into wireless data transfer, that sort of thing. It is all here in the Help Center. Okay, so very easy to get into. If you want to just search for a topic, you can type that in. So the Help Center is very easy. You've got it all right here on the display if you need to uh, take a look at something. Okay. Next thing I want to look at is the Setup menu down here in the bottom left. So here's where we go to set up what we're going to be doing. Okay. So if we need to set up our location, that is our client farm and field, which is very familiar just like we used to have on the 2630 displays. We can set up our client farm and field right there. Okay, another feature that I will show uh, that's new to the 4640 display, the Gen 4s, with a 19.3 software update, you can now set up a base station if you're using RTK. You can now uh, set that uh, base station to automatically set to that station again if you select that client farm and field. Okay, so there's no more guesswork as to which uh, base station you were using if you're using RTK, uh, it will now automatically bring that base station up if you select that field again. Okay, so that's a new feature that's pretty handy. Our equipment setup, we already have a tractor selected. We can select, if we can select or deselect certain uh, tillage pieces or whatever we happen to be pulling behind that machine at the time. So if I want to add a different piece, uh, we're going to change the disk. Okay, so now we've already got it set up here. Our track spacing is different. We had it because we were pull, pulling an undercutter, so our track spacing is different. We need to change that. So uh, we can update the track spacing, which would change it to the 34 feet. 
or we can use a custom setting if we want a little different overlap say we want another foot overlap on that so we can change that to 24 so now we have a one foot overlap okay so now we're set up with our work summary, which is tillage. We have a disc, and our depth is going to be set at 3 inches. And, of course, we can change that if we decide we want to. Uh, you might notice that over here it says feet. Over here it says inches. So we would not be tilling it for, at uh, 3 feet. But we might want to go a little bit de deeper. Instead of 3 inches, we're not going 4 inches. Okay. So now we're set up, ready to go to the field. And we're ready to set our guidance lines. To get into the guidance line and auto track portion of this display, first I want to mention that auto track and data sync come straight from the factory in this display. Okay, so it's already included when you purchase it. It's already in the main purchase price. Now, if you wish to upgrade to section control, row sense, or infield data sharing, we can we can upgrade you to a premium 3.0 subscription. That subscription is good for one or five years, depending on which one you purchase. If you decide you want to get into AutoTrack Turn Automation or AutoTrack Implement Guidance, then we can get you into Machine Automation 3.0. And again, that subscription would last for one or five years. Now, as far as AutoTrack goes, as I mentioned, it's included in the 4640 display. Uh, also with AutoTrack comes Pivot Pro, so that's already part of AutoTrack and that is included. That used to be a, a activation with 2630 displays, but it is now included with AutoTrack. So to set up our guidance lines, we simply hit the guidance button here and we can go in and select our uh, straight track or if we want to do curve track or Pivot Pro or whichever guidance line we would like to set up. We also have the ability to do swap track, just like we did on the 2630 displays. Another neat feature with the 4640 display is the quick line. With uh, one push of the button, we can be doing an auto track. It'll set up a point A, and then we drive 50 feet. It will automatically set a point B, and then all we have to do is set our resume button, and we're auto tracking. So that's pretty handy if you just want to set up a quick AB line. It has been my pleasure to introduce you to the many benefits and features of the new Gen 4 4640 display from John Deere. If you'd like to learn more, you can reach me at American Implement in Scott City at 620-872-7244 or by cell phone 620-214-0517. Thank you and have a good day.